it is about eight o'clock on a Friday night. I'm pulling this order so I can get it in the mail Saturday. And these people can have their puzzles sooner rather than later. Sent an offer to the guy with the same first name as me for these eight. Are you, are you done? Would you like to focus one more time? No? I can continue? Thank you. All right, where was I? All right, sold these eight. You asshole. I hate you. I want to buy a new camera. You know that, right? You'll go back to being a phone. Piece of junk. Yeah. Yeah, go blurry again. Do it again. Oh, gosh. Eight Western books. Sold for $10 on the offer. God damn it. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> Just real quick here, I sewed the, the sweatshirt pullover thingamajig here for $19.95, bought it at Walgreens for $3 I believe, uh, sewed this bottle here for $30, this is something I made, I had the bottle, it had a bad label on it, I bought a vintage label. It's two dollars in the bottle, four dollars in the label, and then I sold it for thirty dollars for free shipping, and it cost about ten to ship. Uh, puzzles sold four puzzles, eighteen dollars thirty five cents. Those are casserole. That's a box of recipes, and you can ship that like a book. You can use media mail on that. Sold that for nine ninety nine, and under that. Is a pair of women's shoes. On both of these things, that and that, I had people asking questions, and the person that bought it wasn't the person that asked all the questions. So, in fact, this one, I have a sneaking suspicion that guy intended to buy that bottle today, but and he shouldn't have slept on it. He should have bought it when he when he saw it. Anyway, that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to take, but I just wanted to show you those five items because I got to get them packed up and get them out of here today. This is how I do sets of uh, CDs, DVDs, whatever. Just put them on this plain black background. It's uh, called Ghost Board. got it at Walmart. I forgot I sold a computer monitor. It's way back there in the corner. So I got to move a little bit of stuff. Got it. Sold for $49.95. Free shipping. These two puzzles. I'm selling all my puzzles. I guess everybody's got to stay home for the coronavirus. Uh, these two puzzles sold for $13.98. But they got to go all the way to California. This set of puzzles. Uh... Which are the ones I picked out as being the best, right? And, of course, they sold almost last. I mean, these were some of the last ones in the box. And I thought they were the prettiest puzzles. I really did. But uh, nobody else liked them. But apparently one person did. $18.75. Free shipping. Here's another set of puzzles. I don't like these near as much. And they sold before the other ones did. Alright, so. That's what we got so far. Three sets of puzzles. A Bible. Praying for the end times. And some slippers. Keep you warm at night. Considering how much I cuss these things. I am just about sold out. And the funny thing is, I almost want to restock. Sold those two. $14 and... What, 85 cents? 98 cents? Something like that. For Dollar Tree puzzles. Yeah. 
People buying puzzles, not books. Puzzles. So. There's a puzzle. Here's a big red flag. This guy is selling 10 ounce silver bars and he ships them first class package. Now you can't insure first class. You can only insure priority. And bullion is supposed to go registered mail and all this stuff. You need to ask Dean about all the special things, hoops you need to go through to ship bullion. But, uh, yeah, this bar looked kind of fishy. I would I would show you the picture of the bar, but the, uh, the guy's name might be up there. Anyway, hold on. Yeah, that's his photograph to sell this thing. Don't that look like a $200 picture to you? What seems to be the officer problem? Well, obviously, it's some kind of blue strapping tape. I don't know how much or what brand or anything else. And that's probably why it took so long to sell. I think I had 50 cents into it. I finally gathered uh, $13.40. That includes shipping. Buyer paid six dollars and fifteen cents shipping, so it's out of my life and headed on its way to New York. All right, hope this helps you out there, New York. Oh, I meant to say, uh, keep this from coming undone in the mail. I'm gonna wrap it in a scrap piece of cardboard. This is uh, obviously a used priority mailbox that uh, somebody sent me something in. You can't cut up new ones and do that. That's a misuse of uh, USPS property. So anyway, yeah, don't want it to come undone. Guy paid over 13 bucks for this little bit of strapping. So we're going to do that. We're going to put a, another piece of tape around here, probably on the ends. Put it in this bubble mailer. And get it, in the, get it in the mail. Get it on the way to them. Well, I sold uh, two more puzzles and a box of grout. That's all the puzzles I got left. I sold two thousand piece puzzles. Actually, I already had them boxed up in the house but i forgot to film it so i thought we'd just fake it and i sold a five pound can of grout and the color is light chocolate and i'm not sure where it is i think it may be down in there so let me get that out oh sold the grout for $29.95 like always puzzle sold for $13.98 well there it is finally dug it out like chocolate looks like cocoa powder but it don't taste like cocoa powder same items same weight same package same everything One's going to California, one's going to Colorado. One going to Colorado, uh, priority mail is $8.50. One going to California, priority mail cubic is $9.22. Both of these items sold with free shipping. So you need to keep in mind when you're selling on eBay and you're selling items free shipping and eBay prefers you to sell items for free shipping, but we'll get into that later. But if you're selling items for free shipping, keep in mind how far it could go. You know, Guam is a territory of the United States. So Guam is zone nine. And if I had, allowed sales to u.s territories 
like uh, Puerto Rico, Guam, and the other little islands that I can't name off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, I, I'd spend, I'd lose money. You know, it'd cost as much to ship it as, uh, as I uh, charge for the item, basically. So, I always, I always pay attention to the shipping. The shipping, uh, can make or break an eBayer, especially a new eBayer. A new eBayer would get on eBay and see what everybody else is doing and do the same thing and forget to check the little box that says don't ship to Hawaii or Alaska and the next thing you know, everything you got is going to Anchorage or Honolulu. So you get frustrated or you have to cancel a, a you have to cancel a sale because you made a mistake and you get a negative feedback. You don't have but 10 or 12 feedback. It destroys your thing and you get frustrated and you quit. So understanding shipping is one of the most important things about selling. Uh, a lot of the items that are around here that aren't listed is because I don't know how to ship them. And that's one thing I'm kind of OCD about is before I... I put something up for sale. I want to know a hundred percent how I'm going to get it to them because every time I've went on the wing in a prayer, I've ended up paying for it. So anyway, there's my two cents. Let me, I'm shipping packages. So let me get these uh, labels on here. I'll let y'all in a bit. Going in the puzzle box. One more time. Lot five. I'm almost tempted to restock. But uh, this happened once before where I had a big run on something. Back then it was Alabama hats when they was playing for the championship. I sold uh, five, six dozen hats real quick, run back to the auction, bought a bunch more, and haven't sold one since. So... You know, I went to, I was really sweating selling these puzzles, and I'm not going to lie to you, I, I'm glad I'm selling them, but uh, I'm not sure I want to run out and buy a whole bunch more right this second, I'll be honest with you. Watch it, door. Brand new building, door sounds like a off a hundred year old house. All right, let me get a different angle here. Jesus Christ. I hardly need to mention it by now, but uh, four puzzles, sells for $18.95, free shipping. Tape sticks to itself best. Moisture and air will cause tape to lift off cardboard. I've got packages before where the tape has uh, started to come loose. I've stored packages in my shed, and when I sold the item, I seen that the tape has started to loosen. So, if possible, loop the tape around so that it sticks to itself. This makes a, a secure seal, uh, less likely to come loose. And if you're one of the people that prepackage items, you definitely want to do this. Uh, the lifting is uh, much worse on the cheaper quality tapes. This is what I mean about that cheap tape coming loose. You know, obviously I didn't have it like that. But it's just such cheap tape you can put it in storage and it just it'll come loose so it's just just better if you can tape it to itself if possible yes that's a 2016 nascar race in the background we all must do something out i guess sorry for the dryer going in the background folks but i just wanted to tell you real quick that there is nothing wrong with reusing packaging this is a bubble mailer i got I carefully opened it at the top 
and then when I reused it, I sealed it with a piece of clear tape. It'll be totally fine to ship these little girls slippers in. And it saved me 20 cents. I, I know some people say use only brand new virgin boxes and this and that. And I'm saying common sense, you know. Don't mail it in a bread sack, but you can reuse a you can reuse a, a, a poly mailer if it's not all cut up or beat up or or anything. There's nothing wrong with it. Might help to hold the camera a little straighter. Here's what's great about retail arbitrage purchases. If I buy something at a thrift store, uh, say that I buy that at a thrift store. I bring it home. I clean it. I take pictures of it, uh, I list it, uh, I sell it, I box it, and that's it. All right, so uh, this one, I got 17 of them. I bring this home. There's usually a stock photo, so I don't have to take pictures. Uh, when it sells, I just go to the box and get one out, and then I can sell, you know, that six, you know, 16 more times. Uh, these I'll probably, you know, lot up, make, you know, a lot of seven or, or whatever. And these, of course, I just had the, the pair. But uh, that's the, this is the good part of retail arbitrage. There's bad parts. You know, some of it's lower return on investment. Uh, uh, there's, there's expiration dates you got to worry about on, on some of this stuff. But uh, one of the positives is uh, you can use stock photos a lot of the time and you can just sell multiple quantity listings which is great one thing i want to do on this is everybody's selling it uh, between uh, 10.99 and 12.99 uh, mostly around 10.99 and i'm probably going to list mine at like six dollars with 5.99 shipping and promote it and we'll we'll actually pay less to promote it because i'm charging shipping if you charge like ten dollars just say for make it easy on me ten dollars for the package and you promote it at one percent and it sells you're going to pay 10 cents for a promoted listing fee all right. If you sell it for five dollars, it's five dollars shipping and promote it at one percent. When it sells, you're gonna pay a nickel. See what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. Old water filter. Filters in general are good to pick up, and uh, I always do. On these that are not in a box, I always look. See that they're sealed in plastic. Uh, I got this at a place called Give Me a Five. And the only thing I can compare it to is the Goodwill Bins. And for all my new prospecting viewers who are not familiar with Goodwill Bins, I imagine. A field that you go detecting in and 85% of the hits are silver and 20% of those are silver dollars all right now imagine that same field is an open sewage lagoon that's pretty much what the Goodwill Benz is it's just it's it's metal cages, four foot by four foot by four foot, filled full of crap, and they turn loose 5,000 people, it seems like, at one time to, to tear through it. And anything that was worth having uh, is usually destroyed if you don't get there quickly enough. Like this probably came in a box, and some little old lady went up there and took it out of the box and looked at it and goes, Huh, what's this? And then throws it down. Uh, I've watched it happen. 
anyway, I can go up there and spend ten dollars and bring home a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars worth of stuff almost every time. And it is such a hassle that I don't do it no more. Um, I know that sounds crazy to you. And, and I guess it should, but I mean, uh, I tell you what, we're going to do, we're going to do this one more time. Uh, I, I just got to notice it because of the COVID-19, is it COVID-19? Yeah, COVID-19 virus. Uh, that they was going to limit it to 50 people in the store at a time. So I think I've talked to a friend of mine and they're going with me on, on quarter day and where it's, it's quarter an item where you can fill a bag for $10. That's why it's hard to judge, you know, how much you got into this. And I'm not talking a, like a Walmart sack. I'm talking a, like a Target bag, right? Pretty good size. Pretty good size plastic sack. Anyway, we'll, more, we'll talk more about this later. Look at the mess in that book binding machine. Ah, oh, Jesus. I think it's a little... A little warm for that fan. Alright, I sold these four boxes of Hawaiian Punch. If you watched my video where we went to Savannah and checked out a Walgreens that I'd never been to before. I had bought these there for $1.99 a piece. We just sold them for $29.95 with free shipping. Found these kerosene jugs up at Walmart. They're usually about $19. And I got them for five. Sony sells. I think Patrick Henry said that. These are vintage Sony cassette tapes I got them for free a buddy of mine gave them to me he knows I sell them on eBay uh, so I have nothing into them sold for ten dollars free shipping $9.99 uh, I have other tapes that I've had for two three four months that have not sold Sony sells just about anything with the Sony name on it sells with a, a very few rare exceptions. That disc camera that we had uh, a couple of weeks back was one of them. What's the matter? I always hated cassette tapes. I don't know how many times I had to buy Guns N' Roses because the damn cassette deck ate the tape. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, because these are vintage... I don't know if the person wants this for a display and I have no idea what they want it for. So I don't know. I don't want to ruin the package is what I should have led with. So, and I don't trust that's too flimsy to go through the mail in just a padded mailer like it is. For me, most people would have no problem slapping that in the mailer and calling it a day but uh, I want to take a little extra care I got a scrap of cardboard another one here I got the residue free painters tape I'm gonna put a piece here put a piece here put it in that envelope get it ready to mail out Me and Bob just came out here to get this very last Brinks home security light with the with the plug. Sold it for $22.65 plus $10 shipping. You know, I sold all the last ones for $25, but I made a guy an offer for $22.65 and he took it. Well, I found them. Sold these headlight ballasts for $12.39. They came from that store, Give Me a Five, I was telling you about. So, got maybe a nickel into them. I don't know what I'm doing. I never have a plan. It's only going to Falls Church 
Virginia. Hopefully they make it. There is a gap in the timeline. There has been a glitch in the matrix. I don't know what happened, but somehow, some way, a video clip has been deleted accidentally. But thanks to Dean, we all know what to do. We fake it. All right, so I sold these two Wii games for $11.99, shipping included. And I sold this big stack of Western books here, uh, 13 books for $13.99, shipping included. See, you couldn't even tell. Next is the only surviving clip from that sale. This is a vintage kitchen timer, and I'm sure you're unimpressed, but let me tell you this, I bought it at a hardware store for a dollar, and I just sold it for $29.95 plus shipping on top. Sold this Munchkin auto seat protector, it's the, this part that goes under to protect the car from the nasty kid. Yeah, well, this sold for $29.95 plus shipping on top, and it's 6 o'clock on a Sunday, so we're just going to call it here. Uh, like I said before, eBay sales goes on 24 hours a day, but the uh, video's got to stop somewhere, so I appreciate you watching. Man Mountain Link, out. Cheers. Man, Mountain Link has once again totally outdone himself. <laughs>